uh, it was very funny. Someone would know a guy that was the, one of the regular guys, and they would always be like, oh, I know a wrestler. And you're like, oh, what's his name? They're like, uh, Brandon Bell? I don't know. I'm making that name up. Yeah. And you're like, oh, he, like, he's one of the guys that, you know, just has like red trunks and yeah. loses. Yeah. Oh, and you're like, oh. But that was like a guy to know. And mm-hmm. you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. He's yeah. on, you know. Yeah. It's like knowing a Washington senator. Like the, <laughs> was that the, the Harlem Globetrotter? Uh, Washington the generals, generals. generals, generals yeah. Washington generals. Like if you're yeah. like, I know a guy that plays professional <laughs> basketball, <laughs> and you're like, oh, that's cool. Plays for the. I would rather meet a guy from the Washington generals than a Harlem Globetrotter. Don't you want to hear from a guy that their team has to lose every game? Yeah, how he keeps, how he gets up every day. Yeah, yeah, they, like how they, he stays they have positive. to let the Harlem Globetrotters are like, what good. are you going to talk about? You're like, well, what I do is I throw it around my. I, you know, throw it around my <laughs> waist a hundred times. A couple years ago, the Harlem Globetrotters came to an open mic here in Nashville. Oh, really? Out of nowhere. At Third Coast. Were you there that night? Yeah. Did you perform in front of them? Yep. How'd they it did, go? They just I mean, came to watch a show. They, they were in town for an event, right? Yeah. yeah. They, they bounced like, the ball off, uh, They went to Third Coast Comedy Club for the open mic and just showed up. Wow. And then when Brian went on, they threw a ball <laughs> off his head <laughs> and they, right off his forehead and they caught it and the crowd is a new form of heckling. Like, <laughs> and he goes, all right, sir, there's no comeback to that. <laughs> you know, a bucket of confetti. Yeah. I heard they were, they were like a great audience. Yeah, they yeah. were, yeah. How, how because just, they know what performance is about and audience right. makes a difference. So, uh-huh. yeah. So they were very supportive. Were they pretty easy to spot when they walked in? Yeah. I'm guessing I mean, they're, they're all yeah, tall. all of them, but. Well, one, yeah. one guy played at Memphis and I remember hearing about him he played college in Memphis, and he could jump. I mean, he could, like, touch the top of a backboard. Yeah. And uh, I think those guys go there. Like, if you can't make pro, then you're like, if you get into that, it's not a bad gig. Mm-hmm. And that's – the Harlem Trotters are just a wonderful, just perfect entertainment. Yeah. I think it's so fun. You get to take kids. It's – you you know, the people up front, get they get they get involved. It's such a – just awesome thing yeah. to go watch. Why not just have two teams though that actually compete? <laughs> That's what I wonder. Like, why do you- I think it would not get serious because then they couldn't do all the crazy stuff. Yeah, because yeah. it would so. be they would it'd be like two. Like- I think they have played each other. Look them and see if they've ever won. I almost think the Washington Generals have won a game, and then I think they've even played because the Washington Generals. It's not like they're bad. They're very good. Well, it's all an act. Players. I mean, yeah, they're yeah, good it's, a, it's a show. Yeah. If you were a kid. Big Harlem Globetrotters fan, <laughs> and you went to the one where the Washington Generals won. Oh, yeah. That would be like. Yeah. I mean, that'd be like being a f- kid that is a Washington Generals fan. Like, yeah, the guy, <laughs> yeah. I mean, say he shows up and he loves the Generals. Yeah. He's like, this is going to be the day. I used to have a joke about how all these teams say, we need to get back to playing Chicago Cubs. You know, yeah. they're always whatever. But that's what the yeah. halftime speech Washington yeah. Generals. Yeah. <laughs> we, need I mean, get, we haven't won since 1971. We need to get off playing like we play. <laughs> we don't need to be the Washington Generals at all. Yeah, it's a fun uh, – Harlem Globetrotters are great. Did they lose? So they they've won? played – the the Globetrotters have beaten them about 16,000 times. Wow. wow. And the Generals have won uh, anywhere between three to six games, they think. Wow. Wow. So what somebody, happened those times? On accident. <laughs> they, they win on accident or they – How do you win uh, 16,000 and lose three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it had to be an accident. <laughs> yeah. Like, they lost in Martin, Tennessee. Yeah. Like, what wow. happens to that now? Oh, yeah. Cur- Curly Neal did not play in the game. Oh. Go. So I wonder, are they trying to, like, somewhat, yeah. I, I mean, how would you, you'd much rather talk to a guy that plays on them to be like, what are y'all trying to do? Yeah. Do you just, are you like, yeah, we let them, when they're out there dribbling forever, we just let them do it. Mm. I mean, there's nothing called when you go, well, a guy touched the ball that was in the rafters, so I <laughs> yeah. guess we're not calling out of bounds this game. This they pull a- each other's trucks down yeah Yeah. like how is losing every day better than just having a regular job right like i would be like you know what maybe i will go back to selling pesticides (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah yeah i said get my pants pulled down and lose it's like 16 would you do comedy if you just bombed every set oh no i could never handle it i can bomb once or twice and be like that's pretty fun and then (laughs) after that i'm like so who would be someone that is like a washington general of uh Comedy, some of that, like Tony. No, uh, I can't say. No. I, I, yeah, I got a few. Yeah, <laughs> no, but uh, that likes it. Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Jim Carrey played him in the movie. Uh, Andy Kaufman. Yeah, but Andy Kaufman, and then who was his alter ego? Oh uh, yeah, Tony uh, Clifton. Oh, Tony, Tony Clifton. Clifton. Yeah, Tony Clifton would be like a Washington. Like he does not want to ever do good. He wants to. Uh, Neil Hamburger is like yeah. that. 
Yeah, always. But Neil, but people like Neil Hamburger. So yeah, maybe it's even yeah. more like that. But people they like the Washington Generals, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I bet it's a little bit like professional wrestling. I think the good guy lost more back in the day by accident because they didn't have it all refined. <laughs> But now yeah. it's much more scripted. But if the Washington generals were like a wrestler bad guy, like they really yeah. like taunted them. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like the good guy in this scenario is taunting the other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Bouncing the ball, pulling their trunks down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 16,000 times. They're bullies. To yeah. three. It shows, I mean, there is just going to be three times. Like you're like, yeah. Like how says the fan really reaction says kids. they looked, like us, looked at us like we killed Santa Claus. Yeah. Wow. Did you already read this or why, why they lost? What ended up happening? No. They just lost. They were just goofing around. They just lost track of the score. And all the while, the generals were actually trying. Oh, really? And then they just looked up and they're like, oh, man, we've got two minutes left. We're down 12. And then they tried to come back and they couldn't in time. And they legit tried yeah, to come they back. They just caught them so sleeping, they, dude. I wonder if the generals are really playing hard then. No. I guess they, they were that game. Yeah. Maybe back in nineteen, but maybe they were missing yeah. missing their kind of crazy shots. It's, it's like six times out that was of sixteen thousand. I think that one yeah. right. They go all right. Let's really let's give them a game. They were popping champagne back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Can you imagine? we did it. <laughs> I would. I think I would love it to be at a game where it'd be great as a comedian to say the only Harlem Globetrotters game I went to is they lost. God, yeah, yeah. Be, that would and be to have that story. Yeah. But if you if you went to that game, you would tell like this has never happened. So it's good. It's better than saying I went to watch them. Is mm -hmm. I went and saw them lose. Yeah, to be at that game, that'd be a ticket you could sell. You could sell that on eBay. Mm -hmm. Someone would buy that ticket over anything else, right? Yeah. So children if cried. It, if it's said on the ticket, they're gonna lose. If it was this just game. the date. And they go, what's so special oh, about this date? After the fact. If yeah. After the fact. And you go, what's so okay. special about this date? And you go, if I would hang up a ticket to go like, they're like, you went to the Harlem Gotardos in 1971? I'm like, actually, that's a ticket from the first game that Washington uh, Generals won. Yeah. People would be like, oh, wow. Wow. Isn't that it's more of a collector's be, item? That would be really yeah. cool. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Harlem Gotardos, weed killing. We're in it. <laughs>